Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Are yeah, you dropping noodle legs? Here we are once again on uh, Disturbing Movies Week. And so we've got the second one tonight. Uh, and we shall be looking at um, Ebola Syndrome. Uh, now this is uh, an, uh, released on 88 film. Um, let's have a quick look at it for you. Comes with slipcase. Uh, it's got the movie, it's got a booklet, and it's got a poster, and a reversible sleeve. So that's this edition. Now, this is a crazy, crazy film, but extremely sort of sick and disturbing as well, really. Um, the film sort of starts off um, with a young uh, girl being sent outside by her family's uncle, who then proceeds to... Um, sort of um rape his uh the, the the wife of the husband of this uh family i think he works for them to be honest i'm not sure if they're related but they actually they're not related he works for them so um he he's working for them and, and he starts to uh have sex with the uh the wife of the boss anyway the boss arrives back home and and sees what's going on and is absolutely disgusted by it and starts to beat the hell out of the uh, the main guy of the film <laughs> so he proceeds over beaten and I am right they are sort of related he's um a sister-in-law um, who he sort of like had sex with anyway um, so that he gets a real big beating and then um, the husband orders his wife to give him a golden shower and she proceeds to do so yeah on camera uh, so she um, gives him that and then he's all begging and saying sorry sorry and then the uh, the boss guy sort of tells the other guys with them to to get them a um a pair of scissors And what obviously what his plan is to do is to um cut off um his um his manhood and he's begging, begging, please don't do it, please don't do it, I'm so sorry, and all this is just like and in the end he says, Look, I'll do it, I'll do it, you know, so let me do it. So he grabs the knife off him, um, and the guy then proceeds to drink a bottle of beer to watch and he just sort of like punches the bottle right through him and sort of uh sort of like a you know knocks him backwards and then he goes to the other guys with him and he stabs him in his um in his manhood so he's down and dead and then he then kills the bo his boss with like a table um and then he goes to the wife um and he ends up cutting out her cuts off her tongue and she ends up bleeding to death. And while this is happening, the young girl that was sent outside was watching through the gap through the door. <laughs> so, as you can see, it's actually quite a brutal film. I and mean, we're not even at the title screen yet. And um, we've already had, like, about three deaths already. So he, he, he then sort of, like goes to to leave the uh, the place and then sort of turns back because he he hears a noise coming in from the other room which is the little girl And 
and he was just about to kill the little girl. He sort of covers her with gasoline and was going to set her in fire. But then someone else comes into the house and disturbs him from doing it. And then he just walks out and leaves. So the young girl's had a close escape. Uh, then we cut to, um, I think, 10 years later, but supposed to be, I believe. And he's now in Johannesburg in South Africa, where he sort of like ran away, obviously, because he's wanted for murder. Um, and he's working in like a Chinese sort of restaurant in South Africa. <laughs> so as you can see the staff he's working for there uh, even hate him I believe the main guy's name is Chicken by the way um, so they all hate him all straight away especially the wife anyway he He's working there for a while. And then we cut to different parts of the film. We see Chicken with the boss of his new restaurant going to like a butcher's where they're trying to buy um, a pig, obviously, for um, their re for the restaurant. And it's like they're sort of... They're, they're arguing with the pe even the butchers where they're trying to get the meat off. <laughs> Then we cut to the restaurant while they wait and we see some uh, Chinese folk coming into the uh, restaurant and one of them is a young uh, one of the young girls in them is the young girl that was at the house 10 years ago of the family he's killed um so, and they've they've turned up there in the restaurant in South Africa <laughs> Anyway, the, the, the Chinese sort of friends are all having a little chat and saying, you know, this place is like recommended as like being a really good restaurant. And then uh, Chicken and the boss come turn up with a massive pig and it apparently stinks because everyone in the restaurant's holding their their mouth. Anyway, so he they take it around the back and then Chicken comes out to the main part to start his normal job and the other girl... From it from the past, brushes past him and starts to feel ill. <laughs> so you can see that guy's absolutely disgusting. He's um, he's. It's just spat in the food and stuff like that. He's he, he's he's a disgusting character, chicken. Um, and anyway, so she decides she doesn't want to eat there. She goes, I can't eat here. She goes, oh, there's something wrong. And then they go back to the hotel. Um, the young girl and her boyfriend, and she's very upset. And she tells him that she believes that he's the murderer of her parents. <laughs> 餐馆啊餐馆呢间餐馆啊头先食几间餐馆啊今天那间餐馆啊今天那间餐馆啊今天那间餐馆啊今天那间餐馆啊今天那间餐馆啊今天那间餐馆啊今天那间餐馆啊
masturbate into that and then he puts it back in the fridge anyway the next it cuts the next day at the restaurant and there's some customer complaining he didn't order uh chicken uh, sweet and sour he ordered chicken pate so he takes it back to the kitchen and um then chick uh the, the the servant goes oh this is the wrong order he doesn't want this he wanted chicken pate so then chicken then gets that piece of meat from out the fridge as i said the guy's absolutely gross and the film is sick um so anyway so obviously he's gone and cooked that and the guys then go on and ate it. Uh, we didn't cut to them going out on like a... Um, because they were conned quite a lot of money out of the pig they brought from the butchers. They decided to go to a near sort of by tribe. In this sort of like a... Out in the sort of... Um, in, 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 in the sort of like wildlife area. Apparently it's, it's, it's a tribe of Zulus. So they go into the to the trip chicken and the manager and they stop off to go for a wee. Yeah, so while they're having a wee, they get a, a sort of a, a spotted visitor. <laughs> and they get away fine, and the animal doesn't get hurt, by the way. Um, there is There does appear to be a little bit of animal cruelty in this. Um, in quite earlier in the film, there's some frogs being sort of killed at a restaurant, and in the next part, which I'm not going to show you, obviously, but when they've reached the village, um, there's some like, chickens being killed because there's like a, a sort of witch doctor there. Because when you get to the village, a lot of the villagers are sick. <laughs> So in 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 this camp here, they got the um, Ebola vi virus there. So the Ebola virus is, is hit this Zulu tribe, and they buy these two pigs from them, uh, which look awful. You know, you just wouldn't eat them. Um, but anyway, they they end up buying them. And then they put them in the truck and then they go on their way back. They sort of crash the car a little bit and they have an argument. Uh, chicken gets out and sees this uh, Zulu woman who's, who's collapsed on the floor ill. She's obviously got the Ebola and he goes over and he rapes her. I mean, he doesn't know that she's got the disease, but he goes over and rapes her. She throws up on him on his face and he obviously takes some in and he catches the Ebola. <laughs> So, as you can see, he's collapsed. He's got the Ebola himself, or Ebola, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, he, he raped that woman, and he ended up killing her, uh, sort of smashing her head in with a rock. Um, yeah, so he's now got Ebola, and he's um, quite ill there at the restaurant. But he's one of the sort of one in 10 million people that do not get seriously ill from it, because... Uh, and in a few days later, he's picked himself up again and back to normal. And then he starts behaving disgusting around the restaurant. Um, he kind of knows he's got it. And I'm not going to tell you anymore. Um, because it does get really sort of like gross and stuff. It's horrible. But if you want to watch this yourself, 
then I don't want to tell any more to spoil it. What do I think of the film? I really enjoyed it. <laughs> I know it's crazy. Although it's, it's sort of disgusting and disturbing, I actually really enjoyed it. I kind of viewed it. I tried to look at it as more of a black comedy rather than a sort of uh, a, a sort of extreme Chinese horror movie. I, I tried to look at it more of a black comedy because there is some comedy in it, and he is chicken can be quite funny in some places, but there is a lot of sort of like really disturbing things in there, especially later on in the film when he realizes he's got Ebola and he's spreading it onto other people, and some of the ways he spreads it on is is horrible. Um. But I actually quite enjoyed the film. It, it it was it was a good fun. It was it was it was funny. It was gross. It was disgusting. It was gory. It's everything I love, really, isn't it? You know what I mean? It's everything I love in a movie, and it was that. And it was it was quite enjoyable. I really enjoyed it. The now the pluses of this film. It looks really quite nice. There's some grain in the film, which I like. This was made in the nineties, I believe. Um, but I did like the grain. I thought it sort of added a little bit to it. I thought it was quite cool. Um, it was quite funny. Obviously, the acting's a bit difficult to say if it was good or bad um, because it is in Chinese with a uh, um, English subtitles. Quite a lot of swear words in it, to be honest. But it, it was a total gross-out film, which I liked. You know, I do like gross-out films as long as it's not like anything to do with, like, um, children or uh, torturing of children or, of, you know, things like that, or none of that. It's like, like I said, like, like the uh, the rape scene, that like you don't really see anything, really, of it, but you, you know he's doing it, but you don't see too much of it. They do cut away. I don't know if this film has been cut, but it, it, they do cut away on a lot of the real sort of harsh things, but you know what's happening. Um, but it was a gross-out sort of film. Um, but it was enjoyable. The negatives of the film, uh, I just wish it wasn't as gross. <laughs> Some of the things he did was just gross, but I quite liked it too, so it's so difficult to put a negative on it. All I can say as a negative is, be sure this is for you, all right? It is an extreme disturbing film. Uh, you have to have, you know, uh, a frame of mind to be open to uh, uh, and sort of like and see it for its comic value i think and if you don't you could be highly offended by it so that is what i would say would be the negative to the film i'm going to score the film now i'm going to score it a uh an awesome film <laughs> and i'm going to give it nine out of ten sorry i've got to because it's really good i really enjoyed it I do recommend, if you're a horror fan and you like the extreme horrors, this is a real good sort of film for you. It's like a sort of horror, black comedy, gross-out sort of movie. It's quite cool, really good. So that is my review of the Ebola syndrome. <laughs> and that's that's the review of it, 9 out of 10. Have any of you guys seen it? Let me know down below what you think of it. Um, I really quite enjoyed it. Anyway, so that's the end of this one. So tomorrow... I'm going to be doing another um, disturbing movie and we're going to uh, Europe. We're going to France for the next one and we're going to be looking at Martyrs. Um, that's going to be our next film on this disturbing horror week. So that's the next one. Check out some horror channels, guys, if you can still stomach it, okay? Check out um, Horror Hands, the Horror Geek, Man V Film, RS Designs, I Am Ice Lord and... Um, Pizzlewell and Sarah of Horror. Check them all out. Great little channels. Until next time, guys, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon.